Alright, what's going on guys? We're back to the channel. You might be wondering why we're in a different place. It's because I did some recording earlier this morning, but I got a call in the middle of it, and I forgot to um, shut my computer down, so I just decided not to post it because it's like... I don't want to randomly be like taking a call during the video, so... is in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed into intensive care yesterday evening. Oh no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we checked in... Ch uh, checked back here later? We were, we're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's not. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah. Anyways, we'll be back later. See ya, Polly. Okay, see ya. Well, I guess, guess we'll, we have to wait till he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay with just hanging out and doing whatever. Can I have a somewhere indoors? It's way too hot. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at his at our house for a bit, and then later when it cools down, we can all go go see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that, especially since Aubrey is with us now. I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't either. 
We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, man? What do you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should. Decide how you want to spend your last day in Faraway Town. Lead the way, Mac. You really are moving away, huh, Mac? 
When I see this empty house, it, fe it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must be... Oh, must have been a long time in coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through that, through all that, I'm relieved that we're still able to become friends again. I'm really happy that we're all here. So we can face this together. It's okay, here. I'll go first. Hey, Matt. When you move away, do you think it would be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey, Mac, are you just coming? A actually, never mind. It's nothing. I still remember that day perfectly. That, that day was really busy. In the morning I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't go home until the afternoon. I, I remember that day too. I went to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there and with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Max music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening, even after all this time, I still don't remember why she would do it. I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's let's keep going. stuff is still here. Hey look, here's our playing cards. That was the best of card games, what was my guys? Mr. Plant A. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. So this is where my cookbooks went. Da, I sip on a jack. Forget. Oh, this was from. You put the 
toy box key in your pocket. Hey look, Mac found a photo of us. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. You're right, Kel. Take out our, your photo album, Mac. We should add it in. Basil's memories. There. Now the photo, photo album is complete again. You know, this will probably be the last time we all will all be together in here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, Hero. Photo album is already out, so we might as well look through it right now. Let's start th from the beginning. It's my 12th birthday. all surprised me with a strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. This year is going to be a good year. A group photo. Oh, another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari bought me this photo album. And everyone else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. Mari and Hero fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. I hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. Mari washing dishes from, from breakfast. We're staying over with Mari and Mac for the week for this week. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Kel says there's a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all going to check it out. some tape later. Caught Mari carrying Mac on the way home from the school that day. He must have fallen asleep on the bus. That was so cute. Sun. So 
since I get sunburned really easily. I'm not sure what Kelly's doing, but he's probably having a good time. is almost over. I sure hope we get to use this treehouse more next summer. We went to Hobie's to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. Everyone's so into it right now. I'm sure it's all, all anyone is ever going to be talking school starts. I'm playing cards with Hero and Aubrey. They're so easy to read. Can't hide anything on their faces. Mari baked. Everyone cookies from scratch. chocolate chip cookies, and super delicious, like always. Looks like I have a winning hand, hee hee, but nobody knows that yet. together again. Mario 
would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. If only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Olive, what's up? everyone drifted apart. I felt so alone. But now I realize that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In a few months after oh in the few months after Mari died, everyone changed so fast. Mac and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports. And Hero seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry about at about how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone had abandoned me and abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with all the pain in their own way. After Max stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And then we got to his room and I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. Just wanted to go through it. Oh, go through the photos because well, I guess I wanted to see if to see everyone happy again. When I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with marker. Couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mari's face. All of her memories together. It felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album stole his photo album and started calling creep calling him creep and things like that and eventually I wasn't the only one calling him names I feel like scum for that now but you know what ever since then all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone it's kind of funny what I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet and yet I'm the one who's, who was angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We, we've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid I'd somehow make things worse. So I just stayed out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. I'm sorry to you too, Mac. I was a pretty crappy friend. We were all th still pretty young then. But I'm the oldest. So, so I should eat, have known to take care of everyone. I, I just... No, it's fine. Everyone's here now. So it's okay. deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any black marks. You were... Oh, there's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anyway. You can see all of our faces just fine. 
I don't suppose they cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We shall be here for you.
Hey man, I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ugh, that's so cheesy, hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero's always been a big, it's been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying. I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softy now. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like how Mari is still here with us too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Mac. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Man, I'm getting sleepy. Ooh. What? What the? Is he asleep already? Yep, that's California. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Mac. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I appreciate you doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Mac, after you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park. Or the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. <laughs> that actually sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends would, can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. Yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Mac. See you all in the morning.
that scared me so bad. Because as soon as I hit, picked up the light switch, my lights went off. The fuck? Did he pick up my light switch? Nah. No way.
it's you. I'm glad you came. It's so good to see you. It came to you that day. That day, Mar the day Mari died. something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, right? I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you've finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How, c how could you do that? But that's mean, Mac. That's so mean. Uh, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Mac? There's no way out of this, is there? See it? Stay away. Stay away from me. Stay away from Mac. I'll protect you no matter what, Mac. You can count on me. When something killed Mari. When something ruined all my photos. I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Mac. Mac wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Mac. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once, for, once and for all. Mac, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything's going to be okay. Everything... <laughs>
future will open up soon, but only we can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. Let's make some new memories together. this one for a long time now. It's time to, to own up to... It's tough to, to own up to them sometimes, but you'll forgive yourself, won't you? You can do this, Nax. You've worked really hard to get them to this point. There's only one thing left to do now. You know, I'll always be watching over you, okay?
Oh, I was supposed to use a lamp. That's my bad, guys. Something you're not telling us, Gozo? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. Alright, I think I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Also, this is me signing off.